Hey, Nail Techs, this is Jill Wright from NailTechEvent.com coming to you from my salon. And we, older techs, can learn a lot from the younger techs. They know a whole lot of the newer techniques because they're all up on to the TikTok and what have you, looking at all the different nail trends, inventing nail trends even, like we used to do back in the day. Who do you think invented color gel polish? It was nail techs dropping fingernail polish into clear gel. That's how we got colored gel. So uh, us older nail techs though now, you younger folk, you can learn a lot from us older ones that have been in this business a long time. I know you look at us, you see our wrinkles and our sagging skin and we're like a little plump, you know. You think, oh, these people don't have nothing on me. They can't teach me nothing. I don't need those people. They're old, what do they know? Everything they know is old and outdated and we just don't need to pay attention to them. Well, guess what, sisters and brothers? Us older nail techs, we know a whole lot of tricks and we know a whole lot of nail secrets that you young techs don't know yet because you haven't been where we are. We have been where you are now. We, back in the day, I'm talking me now. This is before the invention of the internet. No internet, no YouTube, no texting, no no cell phones. It was all in magazines. This is how we had to learn out of beauty school. I had four days of nail training, you know, that was it. A hairstylist was teaching us how to do nails out of the Malady textbook. That was it, she did the best she could. We had to learn everything on our own. We didn't have nail techs to network unless we happen to be in a salon with some other nail techs and then all of us are in the same boat. Where do you get your information when there's no internet? You know, no TikTok, no Facebook, no nothing. We had to read Nails Magazine and then a little bit later, Nail Pro came out. And so if you weren't subscribing to both of those paper magazines and getting them monthly, you were hopelessly like out of the loop of everything nail related. We had to rely on them to look in the back where uh, trade shows were listed. There were far and few classes and if they were there, they were listed in the back and normally they were like nowhere near where I lived. So if I was going to a show or a class or something, I would have to like either drive mucho miles away or fly and pay more money, which, you know, as a struggling nail tech and you're trying to make it in the 80s, you know, it, it was hard. So younger nail techs, you think you've got it hard now trying to build up a clientele? Think about what it is like now. You have every bit of information at your fingertips. All the business tricks and tips, everything you need to know is on the internet. All you have to do is Google search it and you could find the answer to everything. We, we had to go find it out the hard way. We had to uh, learn from older nail techs. We had to learn from um, encyclopedias, books, you know, back in the day. We had to actually learn in person at shows and at classes, which like I said, good luck finding those because they just weren't around. So that's what uh, the difference is between us older nail techs. If we've overcome all of that to still be in business to this day, still be rocking with a clientele, still have a business going, there are things you can actually learn from us younger nail techs. Peace out.